What's up, Print Fam? Welcome back to the Print Shop. Today, we gotta do a little bit of maintenance on the Konica. I need to replace the Corona wires because they're all over live, and I'm starting to get some streaking and some solid color prints. That's what I'm gonna replace. I've got the parts, so let me show you real quick how it's done. First thing you need to do is make sure that you have the unit turned off, and then you need to open up the tray, and I only have one screw screwed in because I'm lazy but you've got to undo this screw, this screw, and this screw. I keep a Phillip heads screwdriver right here, and I don't know if I'll be able to do this one-handed, but basically we are going to unscrew to take this cover off. So now that we've got the cover off, the Corona wires are these four purple ones. And they all associate with the toner that's directly by them. So to pull them out, you just pull down, pull down, pull down, etc. So I have been told that it is best to mark them. So K, C, M, and Y. That way, if you have issues down the road, you can swap like the black for the yellow and keep printing. I'm gonna get these swapped out real quick and then we'll show you how to reset the counters. We've got them all replaced and the printer is turning back on. So you need to go to the utility menu. From here, you need to hit stop, zero, zero, stop, zero, one. And that's gonna bring you into the service menu. From here we need to click number four, counter data. From here we need to push three, parts counter. From here we need to push number one, especially parts counter. And then number three for charging corona slash drums. Now here we've got all of the corona wires, both page and time. If you reset the page, it's gonna automatically reset the time. So we'll just click clear counter. Yes, I go down, clear counter, yes, I go down, clear counter, yes, I go down, clear counter, yes. Then return, close, exit, exit, and you're all done. So, hope that helps. You can buy new wires and string them in the uh, housing. To me, it's not worth the time versus the cost difference of just buying a whole set. Um, so that's what I do. Thank you, Trevor, for being the one to actually show me how to do this. I'm recording the video to document the process. So one, it can help me in the future and hopefully help you. If you have additional questions, leave them down in the comments. And as always, we'll see you in the next one.